Hello NSA student, this is Mr. Hinton with the math department dealing with a frequently asked question from week 26. Uh, this question says the glide reflection, uh, reflection across the line y equals x composed with a translation that is right 4 and up 1 maps the point P243. So this is the end destination, this point P43 is the end destination of mapping this point using these two transformations. All right, so they want us to find the coordinates of P. In other words, where did we start? So let's let's have a look at what has been done here. Let's draw a graph. I always draw pictures in geometry and math in general when you have a problem that you're looking with. So our point ended up at 4, 3. So 4, 3 is going to be somewhere in this vicinity. It's not letting me do this. We'll do a little X there. That's the point 4, 3. Oh, I'm in the wrong mode here. Let me switch this. <clears throat> point 4, 3 is somewhere in that vicinity. So that's the point 4, 3. And that's the end result of doing these two transformations to point P that we started with. So what we want to do then <clears throat> is to do these two transformations, uh, translations in reverse. So the first thing that they did was to move it right 4 and up 1 and then they reflected it across the line y equals negative x. So we're going to do that exact in the exact opposite order. We're going to first reflect it across y equals uh, negative x and you need to know from algebra that that's the line y equals negative x and then we're going to do the translation in reverse. So instead of moving it right 4 and up 1, we're going to move it left 4 and down 1. Okay. Now, first of all, the rule for reflecting across y equals negative x, let's deal with that. You are going to swap x and y and change their signs. Okay, so if we're reflecting the point 4, 3 across negative x, it becomes, you swap the 4 and the 3, so you would have 3, 4, and then you change the signs, and that's going to take us down to negative 3, negative 4. Okay, that's how you reflect across y equals negative x. You swap the x and y, and you change their signs, because y is the opposite of x, and x is the opposite of y. So you just um, uh, do the opposite of both and swap them. That's the rule for reflecting across y equals negative x. Now, as a side note here, if we were reflecting across y equals x, then you just swap them. Uh, but when you have the negative sign involved, y equals negative x, you're going to swap the x and y and change their signs. Okay, so we've undone uh, this reflection, or we've done this reflection in reverse, so we're done with that. So now we need to do this translation in reverse. Now that is right 4 and up 1. So the opposite of that is going to be left 4 and down 1. To go left 4, we're going to subtract 4 from the negative 3. And to go down 1, we're going to subtract 1 from the negative 4. So if we go left 4 and down 1, we're going to end up with the point that's right there. Left 4, down 1. Left 4 would be negative 7. Down 1 will be negative 5. So that's how we undo a translation to get back to a, uh, our original point. So the original point was negative 7, negative 5. So if you looked at that in reverse, um, if we just kind of I wanted to oh, do this again just to check it. Uh, we would reflect it, excuse me, the first thing we would do is translate it right 4 and up 1, and that would take us to the point negative 3, 4. If we went right 4 and up 1, 
It's going to take us right there. And then if we reflect that across y equals negative x, we would swap uh, the values, change their signs, and that would take us right back to 4, 3. So the uh, translation or transformation that we've done here is correct. Thanks and have a great day.